Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about Don't Eat Me. My number's 10. So, how many of you like meat? Okay, let's see what I'm working with here. Um, so, what if I told you that meat actually causes cancer? Would you still eat it? Yeah? Probably. Yes. <laughs> Good to know. So, Meat is not rich in its nutrients as much as it is plants in plants. Um, most don't know that the body, the body actually does need vitamins and minerals to break down protein slash meat um, in order for it to digest in your body. Um, the intake of meat can build up in your body, um, which, can tear, which can cause it to weaken, and that's why maybe after you eat a burger, you feel tired, so that's what meat does after you eat it. I myself became a vegetarian um, the beginning of this year, so on the right you can see me um, looking a mess, and then on the left you can see I look happy and losing weight and face is clearer. Um, so that's from not eating meat and eating more vegetables and a plant-based diet, more um, fruits as well. Um, also, um, being vegetarian is not a diet, it is a lifestyle. And so today, um, we'll be talking about eliminating meat from your diet um, and becoming your healthiest set, self. Um, I know that humans do love meat because we feel like it's the best protein source. Um, and I know a lot of you are asking, where is the protein in a plant-based diet? Um, Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so protein actually comes from, you have plenty of options. Um, there's chickpeas, beans, lentils. Um, you can make plenty of meals that you like every day. Um, enchiladas, spaghetti, just a lot of options for you. Um, meat, when you eat meat, it, like I said before, weakens the immune system and it, is an, it does increase um, infections and chronic diseases. Um, and you probably didn't know that, but um, that buildup in your stomach creates acid, and that's what it'll do. Those are the three things that it'll do. So again, like I said, vegetarian protein, lentils, beans, quinoa, chickpeas, more. These are your options, lasagna, meatless lasagna. You can put vegetables in it, corn, uh, cauliflower tacos, which are pretty good. <laughs> um, enchiladas, I've actually tried that recipe as well. It's like refried beans, spinach, corn, tomatoes. It's good. Mm -hmm. And burgers are a big thing for meat eaters. Um, there's always alternatives like veggie burgers, um, which are really good as well. Now, eating meat is not, eating no meat is not as convenient as just going to a fast food um, restaurant or fast food place. Um, you do have to think about what you're going to eat every day, but it's not as hard as you would think it is. You can still go out with your friends, um, being that the demand for vegetarian um, and vegan plant-based meals are high in demand now. Um, you do have options to choose other things other than the meaty types of foods. Um, a lot of celebrities are becoming vegetarians now. Um, Ariana Grande did mention that she's a firm believer in eating a full plant-based whole food diet that can expand your life wing and make you an all-around happier person. So she's one of the many other celebrities that are vegetarians, Beyonce, J-Lo, just to name a few. 
And um, like always, I always speak about the animals uh, being inhumanely um, killed for consumption of humans. Um, right now, there are about 14 billion and counting animals that are being killed for the consumption of humans. Um, so that's around 1,749 animals being killed every second as we speak. Um, some of the strongest animals um, that don't eat meat, that are on a vegetarian di diet, are gorillas, elephants, hippos, rhinos, and horses. They don't eat meat at all. And so the ultimate decision is yours. Um, you can save animals, expand your life. So this here is a Florida resident by the name of Annette, I forgot her last name, Larkins, and that is her husband. Um, she is a raw vegan, so she only eats plant-based um, items. She feels like she has the youth, uh, the garden of youth in her backyard. She, um, get, her husband actually gets mistaken as her grandfather um, instead of her husband out in public. So um, it may not seem right now that meat would be beneficial to you, but I know in 50 years, you wouldn't want to get mistaken as someone's grandmother or your husband or wife's grandmother or grandfather. So um, she's proof that um, it helps to expand your life, make you look more young. And she's happy, and he actually wishes he could, could have started over and did what she did at that time. So. Um, this is just a food for thought. So vegetarians and vegans live on average six to ten years longer than meat eaters, and meat eaters are twice as likely as vegetarians to develop heart disease. And here is what you can do to make the change. So I want all of you to watch the one hour and 37 seven minute film, What the Hell? Um, it may encourage you, well, let me say this, when you first watch it, you're going to be very shocked, like, what? And then you're going to be like, oh no, I'm never eating meat again. And then it may encourage you to go onto their website and join their 30-day challenge um, to just start eating more fruits, vegetables, and um, more plant-based meals. And don't worry, you will get the protein, your protein. Uh, the same way that your protein gets protein, and also, oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you.